Hi everybody, welcome to um, an hour of yoga, really gentle stretching, breathing. Um, so a few things, always remembering to listen to your body, doing what you can, and uh, please enjoy yourself. Okay. Good. So let us get started. We'll find that nice, comfy, seated position, everybody. So whatever that looks like for you. Hands resting wherever they are, palms down, more grounded, palms up, inviting in the energy of the room. So wherever you feel the most comfortable. You want to try and relax your shoulders. Think about relaxing your jaw and behind your eyes. You want to tuck that chin and engage in the deep neck muscles. Good. Close your eyes or soften your gaze and just begin to focus on your breath. Doing your best to clear out any clutter, any thoughts of what needs to happen later, what happened earlier. Just really clearing out that mind and bringing your focus to your breath. So during the day, our body just naturally breathes for us. It's quite shallow. So while you're here, we want to do our best to take in as much nice, fresh, healing, nourishing breath as you inhale. And then let everything go as you exhale. So clearing out that body, mind, clearing out the spirit. Anything you don't want, let it go with your exhale. chest and belly expand, eventually pushing your air through your sides into your back body, the front sides, back of the body filling up, and as you exhale, let it all go, deep breathing, let's gently bring that chin into your chest. So take your time with every movement, just moving a little bit as you exhale. And if the muscles relax, move a little more. Just really breathing into the back of the neck. With each movement, taking notice of how that area of the body feels. gently bring our head to center. And let's gently look up towards the ceiling. Think about lifting from the chin so we lengthen down the front of the throat. Avoid squishing those cervical spine and neck muscles. Avoid squishing them down so we want to lift and lengthen through the front of the throat. Again, bring that to center and one more time, chin into your chest just in case you did compress those neck muscles a little bit. And bringing that head to center, let's turn and look over the right shoulder, keeping the left shoulder back. You don't want it to move, you're just turning that head. Breathing through, looking a little bit behind that right shoulder. And let's come through center. We'll look over that left shoulder. Again, keeping the right back. Looking over the shoulder. And if you can, looking a bit behind you to the left. Gently 
the center. Good, we'll tip that right ear over to the right shoulder and extend your left arm out to the side, reaching long at your neck, shoulder, arm out the fingertips. And really taking a big inhale when you're ready. Exhale, reach out those fingertips a little bit more. If you like, bend that left elbow back the hand, just rest at your lower back, relaxing your shoulder. And we'll turn and look at that right knee. And gently bring your head up to center, release that arm. Bring your left ear over to your left shoulder. Extend the right arm away from you, thumb up. Reach long ear, neck, shoulder, arm, out the fingertips. On your next inhale, breathe in really deep. And then exhale, reach a little further to the right wall with those fingers. Bend that right elbow, back of the hand, rest at your lower back, relaxing that shoulder. And turn and look at your left knee. And bring your head up to center and release that arm. We'll start to roll the shoulders up and back. So nice big shoulder rolls, half is an inhale, half is an exhale. Really taking notice how your body's feeling. And start to bring those elbows up, just increasing your range of motion. Start to reach those arms forward, that big full breath stroke out and through. Reach and extend. Trying to keep that length from your ear to your shoulder. And up towards the ceiling, lift from the waist, lengthen all the way up. One more, please. Good. We'll relax our hands on our legs again. So from the waist, let's come over to the right and then coming forward, around over to the left and then back. So three more circles this direction. So have this come from the waist. It's not the neck moving. that lower back make sure there's no pain there nothing should ever hurt good we'll bring it back and when you're ready let's go the other direction so over to the left around the front Very last one. And we're at the back, around the center. We'll sit up nice and tall. Good. Extend both hands up straight up towards the ceiling, palms away from you. Good. Let's extend those arms out to either side, reaching long shoulders away from the ears, trying to touch each wall. Good. From the waist, reaching over to the left, and then center, and then over to the right. So try and have this again coming from the waist. Right. 
reaching further each time, hopefully. Okay, this time we're going to come over to the right. And we're going to tip over, extend that left arm up and over. And then we're going to bring it back to center. Reach with that left and tip over. Right arm comes up and over. So flow from side to side. Just take your time, big breaths in and out. Stretching all the way down the side of the body, keeping that chest lifted. We'll do one more on either side. And then we'll bring it over to the left side and we will hold it there. So coming to the left, reach and hold, really bend into that left elbow. You're either gazing forward or a little bit up towards that right arm, stretching down that right side of your body. And back to center. This time reach that right arm as far as you can, tip over, right hand to the mat, bend into that right elbow. And then reach that left arm up and over, gaze forward or up towards that left arm. Excellent, and gently back to center. Good, on your next inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Exhale, thumbs to heart center. Good, and you have three more like that. Lifting up, reaching from the waist. Flowing with your breath, whatever speed that is. And the last one. Good. On your next inhale, arms up overhead. We're going to twist to the right, left hand to the right thigh, right hand behind. Now we're going to come back up through center and go to the left. So flow from side to side with that twist. Good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, place the hands down. Go from side to side. So warming up that body, keeping it nice and long into that twist. So one more each side. And then this time we will come over to the right and we'll hang out there. So up and over, left hand to the right thigh, right hand behind. And that gentle twist. We're sitting up as tall as we can. We lengthen through the spine and then twist it. Ready on your next inhale, arms up and over to the other side. Exhale, the right hand to the left thigh, left hand behind. And again, that gentle twist, mindful of your spine always. And gently releasing to center. Good, relaxing all of that. Hands out in front, good. Big fist, and then extend those fingers out. Good, again, big fist. And extend them out. There's two more. So really stretching out through those fingers. Last one. Good. Keeping them extended. Thumb and pinky come together. Big press. Extend. Work through each finger. And we'll work our way back. Pointer goes first. Beautiful. And then rotate those wrists one direction. Nice big circles. And we'll go the other way. Perfect. And just shake out those arms. Good. Let's extend our legs out in front. We'll give them a nice little shake. Always remember, drink some water during the class. <laughs> Point the toes, flex the feet, point and flex. Very last one. Let's 
Pull those feet flex. Bring your feet chin thighs all together, pressing the back of the legs into the floor. So you want to sit up really tall. So if you need some help, hands behind you. You can always roll up a pillow or something underneath your bottom to help tilt you forward a bit. But just breathing into the back of the legs. Hands are just resting on those thighs, shoulders away from the ears, chin tucked in. So that long spine, ear, neck, shoulder. And then down to that waist. Extend both hands straight up to the ceiling, palms away from you. Really tall. Good. On your next inhale, lift taller. Exhale and fold forward. Hinge from the hips. Hands rest wherever they land. Head down, chin into your chest. So it's your first forward fold. So don't push it. Just really breathe into it. Again, legs as straight as you can. If you find the low back hurts, you can always bend the knees a bit more. And then breathe into straightening them. Or just don't reach as far. But if you feel the muscles relax, inch your way forward as you exhale. Gently walking your hands up the legs, head will come up very last. Good. So we're going to take our hammock hands underneath our right leg. So shoulders roll up and back, engaging those upper back muscles. Supporting the leg and rotate that ankle one direction. We'll go the other way, please. Extend that leg out, push through the bottom of the foot, tiny bend to the knee, and then bend it. Good, again, push out, and then bend. And two more. Push out, and bend, and last one. Good, let's extend that leg out, keeping it there. You can keep your hands behind the thigh for support, work them up the leg or to the bottom of the foot. Good, we want to do our best to have that leg nice and straight. Give it a good stretch upper part of the back of the leg. Beautiful. We're going to bend into that knee and let's take our right hand to the outside of the right knee, left hand to that right foot and just gently moving it around, in, out, up, down, whatever feels good. To take the bottom of that right foot to the inside of the left leg, trying to allow that right knee to relax out to the side. We're pulling the toes towards us on that left foot, and again, sitting up really tall. Good. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale, fold forward, hinge from the hips, hands rest wherever they land, head down and breathe there. So again, nice, straight left leg, just that tiny little bend, head is down. Gently walk your hands up the leg, head will come up very last. Now we're going to tuck that left leg in behind. Good. So doing your best to be centered um, between the legs. Avoid allowing the body to pull you over to the right. So shoulders up and back, palms together, thumbs to heart center. So just breathe into those legs. And both hands straight up towards the ceiling, palms away from you, lift really tall. From the waist, we're going to turn to the right and place both hands down onto your mat. So you're welcome to keep both hands there or you're going to take your right hand, palm and forearm down, and then the left palm and forearm over top, bringing your forehead down onto your arms. Forehead up, and then we're going to 
roll that left shoulder up and back. Bring that heart to shine forward. Good, and let's reach that left arm up and over towards the right wall. Chest is lifted, you're gazing forward or up towards the left arm. That left knee can stay bent. You can straighten the leg, point the toe, or push into it and lift up. Whatever works for you. There we go. So lifting and reaching, breathing there. Right down that left side of your body, either from the knee or from the toes. Beautiful. If you lift it up, bring yourself down. Let's reach for that left ankle, pulling that knee away from the hip. Left shoulder rolls up and back. Bring yourself to center. Bottoms of your feet come together, please. So hands to the outside of the knees, just allowing them to come in and out. So allow that inner thigh to do the work and the outer thigh. Hands are just resting there for support. And the last one, finishing with those knees open. So two options here. You can either slide your hands down to the ankles, elbows to the inside of the knees, bringing your chest forward towards your feet, or bringing your feet up and together, and you're sitting back on your sit bones. Up to you. You pick. If you sat up with those feet, bring them back down and bring that chest forward towards your feet just for a moment with everybody else. And gently lift that chest up and we'll extend our legs out, give them that nice little shake. Pointing the toes, flexing the feet. Last one, we'll hold those feet flexed, feet shins thighs together, lift up, sit up really, really tall, back the legs into the floor, extend your hands up towards the ceiling, reach tall. On your next inhale, lift a little taller, exhale, pull forward, hinging from the hips, hands rest for a bit, land head down, maybe you came a little further, again, listening to that body. Leg, shoulders up and back and rotate that ankle one direction. And we'll go the other way please. Keeping your hands behind the leg, push out through the bottom of the foot, straightening it out, and then bend that knee. Three more. So big push, and bend. And two more. Last one. Good. Let's extend that leg out. Your hands can stay either behind the thigh, work them up the leg, or to the bottom of the foot. Good. Just making sure that you can keep that leg straight. Tiny bend to the knee. Perfect. Start to bend the knee. We'll take our right hand to the bottom of that left foot, left hand to the outside of the knee, and just moving it around and out. Just mobility for your hip.
Beautiful. We'll take the bottom of that left foot to the inside of the right leg, allowing that knee to relax out to the side. Pull the toes towards you on the right foot and sit up really tall. Good. Extend both arms up towards the ceiling, reaching tall. Next inhale, lift taller. Exhale, fold forward. Reach from the hips, head down, breathing there. Gently walk your hands up the leg, head will come up last. We'll tap that right leg in behind. Again, doing your best to sit center in between those legs. If you like palms together, thumbs to heart center. Just breathing there. Okay, we'll extend both hands straight up towards the ceiling, palms away from you. Lift from the waist. And then from the waist, turning to the left and place your hands down to the mat beside you so they can stay there or you're going to place your left hand, palm and forearm down first, right palm and forearm over top of that, and then placing your forehead down on your hands. Lift our forehead up. And then roll that right shoulder up and back so your heart can shine forward. Reach that right arm up and over, stretching down the right side of your body. Now that right knee can stay bent. You can straighten the leg, point the toe, or push into it and lift up wherever you would like to be. You're breathing there, gazing forward or up towards the right arm. Gently coming back to center. And let's take our legs out nice and wide. Good. So as wide as you can. And then do your best to sit up tall. So we don't want to slouch back. You'll find if you slouch back, you won't feel those inner thighs as much. Start to lift yourself up onto your sit bones. We're pulling those toes towards us. Good. So from the waist, turning to the right. Big inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Now do your best to keep the left side of your bum attached to the mat. So it's easy to sort of lift it up and cheat a little and it looks like you're reaching further. So we want to keep that left side of your bottom rooting into the floor. You're pressing the back of both legs into the floor as well. Now we'll keep our right hand wherever it is and then roll the left shoulder up and back. So we're going to look up to the left. Now your left hand can either come to that left hip or reach up and over as if you wanted to touch your fingers or touch that, um, touch your left fingers to your right foot. Good. Up to you, wherever you're best. But we got that rotation from the waist. And gently come back up to center. Good. Just slouch for a minute. Let the back go. Let it go. And then when you're ready, bring yourself back up. Those toes are pulled towards you. So from the waist, turn to that left leg. Big inhale up, exhale, fold. Reaching in the direction of that left foot. Hands rest wherever they land. And keep that right side of your bum attaching to the mat. Keep breathing into those legs. Good. So we'll keep that left hand where it is, roll the right shoulder up and back, and then look up to the right. That right hand can stay on the right hip or reaching it up and over without dropping that shoulder forward. And reach and lengthen down that right side of your body. And gently back up to center and just sort of shake it out. Let that back go a little. Good. And one more time, we'll sit up really tall, still pulling the toes towards you. Big inhale, lifting up. Exhale, fold forward. Good. So again, hinging through the hips. Let your hands rest wherever they are. Head down and breathe there. So feeling that inner thigh. Good. Can you walk your hands out towards each leg? 
reach, but whatever you can reach. It's as if there's a string attached to our chest pulling us forward, so as you exhale, try and move a little bit more. And then walk your hands up the legs, head will come up very last. Beautiful, let's make our way onto our hands and knees for a moment, everybody. So rolling up the mat if you need some support for your legs, whatever, for your knees, whatever you need. Those hands and knees. So we want our wrists right under our shoulders, spread out the fingers, thumbs point towards each other, elbows tuck in. So you're pushing into those hands. Good. Keeping it there. So you're welcome to just stay here, belly button to your spinal. So we want to engage those tummy muscles. Good. So you're welcome to stay there with the tops of your toes to the mat, or you're going to actually curl them under so the bottoms of your toes come to the mat. Good. So again, tummies are still in. You're welcome to stay here with that nice flat back, or push into the bottoms of those toes and just lift your knees up off the mat just a little bit. You feel those tummies have to engage, legs a little bit, belly button to your spine. Shouldn't hurt. Just a little bit of work. Breathe. Good, let's lower those knees down, tops of the toes to the mat again, and bring your bottom back onto those heels into your child's pose for a minute. Crown of the head to the mat, breathe there. Perfect, back onto those hands and knees, pushing into your hands. So let's take the left palm off your mat and then extend it up to the left side. Let your gaze follow. So opening from the waist and then bring it down back to the mat. We're going to do the same with the other side. Open it up. Let your gaze follow up and down. Good. So just going from side to side, opening up, rotate from the waist, let your gaze follow and back down, pushing into those hands. Good. So this time you're going to bring that left arm up to the side and then as you come down, swoop under, back of the hand is going to come to the right side, back of the hand to the floor, forearm, elbow, top part of the arm, and then if you like, shoulder and the ear. And you're looking off to the right. Good, gently bring it back up to center, place that hand down. So other side, now you're going to take that right arm up to the side, gaze up, and then come on down, you're going to swoop underneath that arm, back of the hand, forearm, elbow, shoulder, side of the head if you like. And gently coming back up to center. So this time, either sitting back into your child's pose, crown of the head down, bottom back onto your heels, or into your downward dog. Hands at one end of your mat, feet at the other. From here, you're welcome to walk it out. Make sure it's losing it. Good, you can always move around, bend one knee, straighten the other leg. Whatever works in that downward dog. Those in downward dog will join them in child's pose. If you like, knees wide, feet together, bottom right, back onto those heels. Perfect. Gently lifting your chest up. And we are going to make our way up onto our feet, everybody. So taking your time to stand up drink if you need it. And we will come to the center of our mat, please. We're coming into your mountain. So you want to feel all four corners of your feet attaching to the floor. Let's see if mine won't move around. 
My mat doesn't like the carpet, it tends to move, so. So all four corners of your feet attached to the floor. You have a nice soft knees, soften through the hips, shoulders up and back, chins tucked in. We want that ear over shoulder, hip, knee, ankle. Palms might be slightly forward. Again, close your eyes or soften your gaze and bringing that focus back to your breath. If your mind wandered off, bringing it back just to your breathing. Put that grocery list away. The to-do list can go bye-bye for a while. So really taking notice of those deep breaths, filling up every little bit of that chest, belly, eventually side body, back body. Like your torso is that nice big balloon, expanding as you inhale and as you exhale, let it deflate, let everything go. Inhale, arms up overhead, and then exhale, let them just float back down to your sides. So deep breaths, in and out, flow with your breath. We have one more, please. Good, on your next inhale, bring those arms up overhead and we're gonna exhale and fold forward. So bend the knees on the way down, release the lower back. Fold forward and then start to straighten out those legs. Make sure that chin is tucked into your chest. Just straighten the legs as much as you can, just a tiny bend to the knee, allow them to stretch out. Let those arms just hang. Let's take a little bit of a bend to our knee, hands to our thighs. And then come into your tabletop or halfway lift. So lifting the head up a bit, you're still looking at the floor, and that nice long spine. So from the crown of your head out through the tailbone, belly button into your spine, so engaging those tummies a little bit. And again, straightening those legs and folding forward. Hang those arms, head into your chin, into your chest. Take a nice big bend to your knees, hands to your thighs, and help yourself up. Your head will come up very, very, very last. Once you're all the way up, arms overhead, palms away from you, lift really tall. Lengthen right out from the waist. If you like, coming up onto your toes, so bending into that joint from your toes to the rest of your foot. You've got a little bit of a bend to your knees, so you've got that support. Always remember there's nothing wrong with using a chair if you need help, if you need that balance. Support. Good, let's bring the heels down, turn your palms to face each other, and start to sit back into your chair. So sticking out the bum first, and then start to bend the knees. Keep that chest lifted and gaze forward. Good, so you don't have to come down that far. Take a peek down though that we can see our toes. Now if you find that your knees are pushed forward, we need to stick out that bum some more before you bend the knees. Good, I'm losing my mat there. Excellent, let's bring the palms together, thumbs to heart center. Beautiful hands to your thighs and then help yourself up. Use those arms and legs. Beautiful. Okay, let's take the feet a little bit wider. Just a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Good. So again, hands are going to come to your, your thighs. Let's bring actually to that joint between your, your hip and your, your torso here, okay? So you're going to find that with your pointer fingers. So in a squat, we're gonna come back into um, a wider leg chair. You'll find if you're sitting back into the chair properly, sticking the bum out and then bending the knees, you'll feel your fingers get squished, okay? If you're pushing your knees forward and sitting back, they won't get squished as much. So we want that squish. So bum back, then start to bend the knees, feel that squish of those fingers. Lift that chest up, good. Stand it up, you'll lose the squish of the fingers, and then let's sit back again. So hinge from the hips, sticking out the bum, and then bend those knees. Feel that squish. Good, and then stand it up. Beautiful. Let's take those legs out a little bit wider and then turn the feet out. So that turn came from, from uh, 
the hips there. Again, pointer fingers, finding that squish. So, bum back a little bit, and then start to bend those knees. Good, feel that squish. Take a peek down that we can see our knee is over our ankle, we can see the inside of our foot as well as our toes. And then straighten it out. Good, if you don't need to keep your fingers here anymore, you can bring your hands up. Sit back, so hinge from the hips. Take your time, make sure that that knee is tracking proper. This time, stand it up, arms come up overhead, touch those fingertips together. Good, let's bend those knees. Elbows out, watch those knees track proper and up and one more let's come down we're going to hold it there for a second your hands can stay up here or bring them down to your thighs for support good release your hands down straighten out those legs and then walk the feet in excellent shake them out beautiful legs are good and warm Make sure you're getting water, hydrate those big muscles. Beautiful. Okay, let's take our right hand straight up to the ceiling, palms facing in. Good. And start to lean over to the left. Good. So we're sliding that left hand down the outside of the leg, reaching with that right arm. You're gazing forward or you can look up towards that right hand. Just be mindful of the neck. Back to center, release down. Left hand straight up to the ceiling, so lift tall and lengthen that spine out, and then start to lean over to the right. Right hand sliding down the outside of the leg, gazing forward or up towards that left arm. Beautiful. And back up to center. Good, feet are planted. Next inhale, arms up overhead. We're gonna exhale, fold forward, so bending the knees on the way down, release the lower back. Fold forward, then straighten out those legs. Hands down, chin into your chest. Beautiful, nice big bend to the knees, hands to the thighs, push through those feet, the legs. Head comes up very last. Good, once you're all the way up, let's roll those shoulders up and back. Just one more. Perfect. Let's bring our weight over into our left leg, bend into the left knee. Right side can be toe to the floor. You can flex your foot or lift your knee. Have a chair to hold on to if you need it. Beautiful. So let's take that right arm out to the side and our left hand, if you can, to the outside of the left knee. If you're needing to, you're holding on with that right. Good. So we're going to pull that right knee across the body a bit, just to get a little bit extra stretch through that outer thigh, pulling it across. Good. Let's bring it back to center and release that down. Good. So weight over to the right side, left side, toe to the floor, flex the foot or lift that knee up. And then we'll bring that left arm out to the side. We'll bring the right hand to the outside of that right knee and then pull it across to the right. And gently bring it to center and release. Good, shake out the legs. Let's bring those elbows up. One more. Beautiful. Let's take our legs really wide. We'll go through our warriors. So wide as you can. Beautiful. Let's take our right foot, turn it out. We want our right heel in line with the instep of that left foot. Bend into the right knee. Again, knee tracks over the ankle. You want to see the inside of the foot as well as those toes. Good. That left leg is straight. Extend the arms. Good. Breathing there. So try and have your arms in line. Take a peek there. And looking over the middle or index finger of that right hand. So big inhale. Exhale. Reach those fingertips further in each direction. If you want it a little bit more, you're sinking down more into that right leg. Good. Let's 
let's bring that left hand to the right thigh or to the left side right arm from the shoulder palm up start to reach those fingertips up towards the ceiling let your gaze follow you want a little more sliding that left hand down towards the back of the left knee mindful a little bit of a back bend and gently coming back to center warrior two again extend both arms out palms down Let's straighten that right leg. From the waist, start to reach forward to the right and then tip over. Back of the right hand comes to the inside of the leg and rotate from the waist. Good, and we'll reach those left fingertips straight up towards the ceiling. Now that right hand, you can slide it down further down that right leg, but we don't want that left shoulder to drop. We wanna maintain that rotation from the waist. This left hand can also be at your hip, whatever works for you. Beautiful. Back to center. Bend in, into that right knee one more time. Warrior two. Breathe there. And release the arms. Straighten the leg. Turn the foot forward. Good. And let's walk them in. Shake them out. Beautiful. Start to reach those arms forward. That big, full breaststroke. Reaching them out and through. legs wide 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 again we'll go to the other side so turning the left foot out left heel in line with the instep of that right foot bend into the left knee again knee over the ankle extend the arms palms down and reach in either direction ready big inhale exhale sink a little bit more if you can and reach those fingertips in either direction right hand to the right thigh left arm from the shoulder palm up reach those fingertips towards the ceiling and if you like reaching that right hand down towards the back of the knee a little more mindful of the back bend so you're lifting all the way from the belly button straight up get back to warrior two extend those arms out palms down and let's straighten that left leg from the waist reaching forward to the left and then tip over back of the hand comes to the inside of the leg Right arms reach straight up, so you've got that rotation from the waist, reaching up. You're looking up towards that right hand. That right hand could be on your hip. Get back to center, bend into that left knee, warrior two, one more time, reach. Check those arms are in line. Release the arms, straighten the leg, turn the foot forward, and we'll walk those feet in. Good. Let those feet. And let's reach those arms up towards the ceiling. Reach and lift from the waist. And just two more. And the last one. Perfect. Okay, so. Let's come into our tree. So bending into that left leg, right side, toe to the floor, open the knee, bottom of the foot to the inside of that ankle. So hip bones are forward. We just really open that knee up. Find wherever those branches are. The toe can stay to the floor. Lift the foot up slightly, pressing against the inside of that ankle or bringing it up to the inside of the thigh. Wherever you would prefer to be, but we want those hips forward, knee open. Good. So slowly let those arms float down to your sides. And big inhale, arms come up overhead. Bring your palms together. Exhale, thumbs to heart center. Good, and just hold it here. A few more breaths. And release the arms and the leg and shake them out. Beautiful. So now weight over into the right side, left side, toe to the floor, open the knee, bottom of the foot to the inside of the ankle. Good. Extend those arms, toe can stay to the floor, lift it up slightly, avoid pressing on the inside of the knee or bring it up all the way to the inside of that thigh. Breathe in deep. Slowly let those arms float down to your sides. When you're ready on your next inhale, arms come up overhead. 
palms together and we'll exhale, thumbs to heart center. And just hold here for a few breaths. And gently release and shake out those legs. Beautiful. Okay, guys, let's come down onto our mats, please. So making sure you're warm enough, you've got with your blankets, whatever you need for your Shavasana. So right down onto your backs, please. Knees come into your chest. That big hug and rock from side to side. We'll bring that to center. Bring your feet, chins, thighs together. Chins are parallel to the floor. Arms out to either side, palms down. Let's bring our knees and feet over to the left side, allowing them to relax to the floor. So the left leg relaxes to the floor. That right leg relaxes onto the left. Right side of the body is to the ceiling and turn your head to the right. So again, mindful it is a spinal twist. It should not hurt. Gently bring your head to center, knees coming up to center. Good, again, feet, chins, thighs all together. Let's bring them down to the right side. You can allow the legs to relax to the floor, knees together if you need to, using props so you can use pillows between the legs. Good, left side of the body to the ceiling and turn your head to the left. Gently bringing the head to center, knees coming up to center. One more time, a little rock from side to side, giving those legs a nice little hug. And we'll finish with our happy baby. Extend both feet straight up to the ceiling, hands behind the legs for support. Let's take them wide into a big V. Allow the inner thigh to sort of stretch a little. Good, and from here, we're gonna to start to bend the knees, drawing those knees down in towards your underarms, keeping them wide. Hands can stay behind the thigh, work them up to the ankles or to the bottoms of the feet. Good, rocking from side to side if you like. Just release that lower back. Gently release that, knees together. We'll bring our feet to the floor and we will finish with our final position, please, your Shavasana. So making sure you're relaxed, you're comfortable. You can have your legs extended, traditionally hands at your sides. However, if this is uncomfortable, find a space that is best for you. So knees can be bent, um, lay on your side, sit up, sit in a chair, wherever you need to be. We wanna do our best to completely relax and allow our body to absorb everything you've just done. Staying mindful of your breathing. And try not to allow those little thoughts to come in.
So we'll slowly begin to bring some awareness into our bodies. Just little movements, wiggle your fingers, your toes, doing whatever feels right for you at this time. Gently increasing that range of motion. slowly working your way into your comfortable seated position. So once you're seated, if you like, bring your palms together and your thumbs to heart center. Just another few nice deep breaths in and out. Please take a moment and acknowledge the good you've done for your body, your mind, your spirit. And I hope everyone got what they needed from class today. And thank you so much for coming. Namaste.